Hi everybody, today we're going to be doing chisel. Uh, sometimes you can do chisel with a repetition count or you can do it with a timer. Today I'm going to do it with a timer. We're going to be doing 45 second long sets of work with 15 seconds rest in between. We're also going to be doing compound movements, meaning multiple body parts. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's just start warming up here. Just start with some standing air squats. Exhale up, inhale down. Now as we warm up here, we're trying to get that blood flow into those legs, loosen up those knees and hips, get them prepared for the workout we're about to do. Good, all right, let's go ahead and start doing some reverse lunges. And throw the hands up overhead as we step back. This is to stretch out that hip flexor and the core, also to warm up those shoulders. about 45 more seconds of a warm-up. Right, let's take a nice wide stance. We go ahead, touch those toes, your opposite hand. Stretch out those hamstrings, loosen up your lower back. All right, bring it up, reach across. So we're going to get started here with our first exercise. We're going to be doing some squats combined with a bicep curl. So grab those dumbbells if you've got them. If not at home, a bottle of water, maybe some gallon jugs of water, or some canned goods. All right, here we go. Squat down, curl as you come up. Again, exhale up, inhale down. Remember, you go at your own pace. If you can't go as far down, just do what you're capable of. Okay, we've got 25 more seconds to go. Nice, keep going. Try and work on that range of motion as the set goes on. You can get a little bit lower as those joints get looser. All right, we're gonna to go to the second exercise now. We're going to be doing some lunges with an overhead press. Now, bring those hands up to those shoulders, lunge forward into that overhead press. Or if you need to go reverse lunge, that's fine too. All right, here we go, ready, and go. That's it, work on that stride. Focus on the back knee going down towards the ground as you do that lunge. Good. Got 20 more seconds to go. Remember, when you're doing lunges, those feet are on railroad tracks, not on a tightrope. Keep that foot in alignment with that hip. Next exercise we're going to be doing is a deadlift with an upright row. So, I'm going to show you from the side. Keep a nice flat back, slight bend in those knees. Hips go back, hips go forward, and then pull those hands up right underneath that chin. Ready, and go. Elbows above the hands as you bring those hands up. About 10 more seconds. Rest. All right, next exercise we're going to do is a curtsy lunge combined with a lateral raise. So as you step back behind and come up, bring those hands out to the side and then down over to the other side. Ready and 
go. Again, exhale up, inhale down. exercise, we're going to need those dumbbells again. We're going to do a renegade row with a cross knee tuck. So again, if you need to do it on your knees, that's the modification for it. Otherwise, you're up and go. One up, then the other, and then tuck one knee across, and the other. That looks like this. Same way. Pull them up and then cross one knee towards the opposite elbow. And good. Alright, let's get up. Let's go through that same sequence again of all those exercises. So first, we're going to start with those squats and bicep curls. Here we go, three, two, and one. Exhale up, inhale down. That's it, good. Now we're nice and loose, so a range of motion. Should be able to get a little more this time. Try and get those hips down, same height as those knees if you can. overhead press. Again, you can do reverse lunges or forward lunges. Here we go. Ready and focus on that breathing. Body's using that oxygen to perform these muscle contractions. That's why that heart rate goes up and we get out of breath. 20 seconds left. we've got the deadlift with the upright row. So I'll show you from the side again. Remember, focus on the hips going back. Nice flat back, slight bend in the knees. 
And bring those hands up under your chin. Here we go. Again, try to work on that range of motion. Nice and loose. We should be able to get a little further into that deadlift. like 20 seconds. on the halfway point. There we go. If you need to go a little slower, go slower. If you want to go a little bit faster, that's fine. But remember, we're focusing on slow, controlled movements with this class. Nice. All right, now we're back to the mat. First, we've got those push-ups the hip extensions. Modification is on the knees. All right, here we go. Same thing on the knees. Chest fly and a bridge now. Feet are flat. Keep those dumbbells above your chest, down on the ground. As those hands come up, push those hips up, squeeze the glutes, and come down. Again, exhale up, inhale down. Legs straight up in the air and the hands. So, if 
Well, it's going to go apart, down towards the ground, and back up. All the way down, touch the ground, and bring them up. Exhale up, inhale down. Now, if you have lower back issues, you can bend the knees to make that easier. That'll take some of the pressure off of your lower back. Or keep those legs straight. One dumbbell for this one. We're going to do some Russian twists. Now, you can keep your heels on the ground to make it a little more easier, or you can pick them up to make it harder. All right, chest up, chin up, take some of that pressure off your lower back, and twist, twist, twist. Slow, controlled movements, regulate that breathing. to keep the heels on the ground and make it easier and do one knee at a time otherwise you do both at once all right ready and go like I said modification set the heels down take the pressure off the lower back and just do one at a time remember you've got to do the workout that works best for you we want to improve ourselves, not injure. So be careful, but don't baby yourself. 10 seconds left. All right, great, let's go through those four again. So, back down on the ground. First, we've got the chest fly with the bridge. Bend the knees, otherwise keep those legs straight. Go straight up, and down towards the ground. And up. Exhale up. Inhale down. Bend those knees. Take some of that pressure off the lower back. All right, rest. All right, we're gonna sit up. We've got Russian twists again. 
feet off the ground to make it more difficult. Feet on the ground to help stabilize. Lean back and twist. Good. Make sure you breathe. Don't hold your breath. That's it. Good. Coming up on halfway. Good. Now those hip flexors are starting to feel it. We've got one more exercise using those. We're going to do that, those knee tucks. So remember, feet on the ground, doing one at a time, some modification. All right, here we go. Ready? And go. Step those heels down. Tuck one at a time. Again, go at your pace. It's not a race. Working on slow, controlled movements here. That's it. Got 10 seconds left. exercises. So for this one, we're only going to need one dumbbell. We're going to do a side lunge into an overhead press. So whichever hand the dumbbell's in, you're going to lunge to the opposite side. All right, ready? And go. Halfway through, we're going to switch sides. Switch hands, lunge to the other side. Same thing. Ten seconds. Good. All right, now we're going to work on some balance. We're going to do a one legged -like deadlift with a row. So, a lot of balance involved on this one. So from the side, it will look like this. Gonna row at the bottom, then come up, and reset, just set your toe down. Okay, ready and go. That's it, slow control movement. Work on that balance. Might feel a little shaky, that's okay. Halfway, switch feet, same thing. You're gonna learn you're better than one side with that balance. All right, good. All right, so this next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a dumbbell swing. So similar to a deadlift, but more accelerated. So you can hold the dumbbell like this, or on the ends, whichever feels more comfortable. Again, hips back, thrust forward, ready? And go. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep that back flat. seconds. Exhale up. All right, good. All right, we're going to work on that balance again. We're going to do some overhead tricep extensions 
while balancing on one leg with the knee up. Knee up. And you can use one dumbbell if you want, or two. Keep those elbows high. Exhale up. Inhale down. Again, balance is hard on this one. Halfway, we're going to switch legs. There's halfway, switch, again. Good, all right, let's do those again. So, first one, we're gonna put that dumbbell down. We're gonna do side lunges into an overhead press. Halfway through, we're going to switch. All right, here we go. Lunging to the opposite side of the hand with the dumbbell. Exhale up. Inhale down. Good. Switch hands and go. And good. All right, now we're going to work on that one legged deadlift with that row at the bottom. On that balance, this is the tough part. Reset with that toe on the ground. As you can see, balance is tough. All right, switch. Other leg now. Overhead tricep extension while balancing on one leg for half that set. Ready and go. It's halfway, switch it up. And great. All right, everybody, let's cool down. So, let's take a nice wide stance first. All right, slowly moving. Touch those toes. Tricep out, grab that shoulder, switch, and lock those fingers, palms down, bring them up, on the one side, and to the other side, get top, nice deep breath, 
and release. All right, everybody. Good job today.